and welcome. My name is Lauren Speakman of Speakman Studios. Today we're going to learn how to use the pen tool using this old Russian flag. We're going to turn it into a vector image. That means it can be increased in size and will not start to pixelate. Let's get started. To start we need to go into Illustrator. Now first you're going to want to get multiple layer files and on the second layer you're going to use the pen tool to create your shapes. Now in this case they're all straight lines. So you start by clicking one anchor point and using the Alt key, or the option tool if you have a PC, you will get straight lines. Now you want to follow the image below and it does help at times to turn down the opacity so you can see the image below it. Now it'll help to zoom in because a lot of times if you keep zoomed out, you will accidentally add points to the wrong areas. If that happens, it's not a big deal. Hit Command Z if you're on a Mac or Control Z if you're on a PC. Now, some people might be saying, why aren't you just using the image trace? And that's because there's so much damage to the original flag that it is faster to just do it this way. Uh, all of these little sunspots that you see would show up if we use the image trace. You can see as I come to the end of the image that even though I'm still holding down the Alt key, the lines want to curve. To counteract this, you need to go to the Pen tool, select down, and you'll see the Anchor Point tool. You can also do a shortcut key by doing Shift-C. Now click on each of those anchor points and it will turn it into a straight line. Now you're going to have to repeat this process. Obviously turn back on the opacity to full to get the full effect. And you're going to have to repeat it over and over again for all of the shapes. Now I would probably make a rectangle tan background, but you can see here what it will look like completely finished. And you obviously can adjust the colors as you wish, uh, but I'll see you later for the next project.